Now I want to show you how to make that large image that goes at the top of the website, and it's actually a video background behind the image. It contains our welcome message, our subheading, a button, and all that. And a really good place to start because we need a video background is actually just going where Elementor got their video backgrounds. So to find this video link, we want to start by clicking on the settings for this entire element, which are up here. It looks like a little file cabinet up top. Click on that, and then you click on style, and that's where the video link is. So we can double click on that and then copy it. And then we're going to see what other related videos are good background videos on YouTube. Because we know if Elementor is getting them somewhere, it must be a good place. All right, so we're just going to scroll down and I'm going to look at this one, which is cool. And if you needed a typer, there you go. But we can also click walking away. Sorry about all my other related videos, by the way. All right, and to get to the point, we can click on the cover beautiful free videos for your homepage and you can see all their really cool videos. All right, so I'm gonna check out Cheer Up. All right, so that's really nice if your audience likes concerts, really cool. And then I'm gonna check out Beach Camera. All right, so if you're a photographer, this could be a good place to start. All right, pretty cool. Okay, so once you select a background video to use on your website, you wanna do two things. We wanna first just copy the background link. And to get it working on our site, we can go back to our front page Scroll all the way to the top and just click on the plus up here, which will open up a brand new section. We can click add new section and we can give ourselves the one column layout. And you can see this is the new section up here, just sitting there at the top. So now we've added a new section and we can drag some content into it, like text, a heading, an image, all that, a button, for example. And then we can put the background on the entire section so that everything we put inside of it sits inside that video background. All right, so let's do it. You can click on this little Rubik's cube in the upper left corner to get to the elements that we can bring in, and then we can just start bringing them in. So I want to bring in a heading, click on the Rubik's cube, and then we're going to bring in the text editor. And it takes a little bit of getting used to because we actually want to hold and oh, okay, excuse me, sorry about that. We want to hold the element right here and click and drag and get that blue line so that's where it's going to go like not above the heading but below the heading takes a little getting used to all right but you know if i can do it so can you then we're going to grab a button bring it in and so pretty soon you'll get used to seeing that little blue section and just dropping it in great so now to insert that video background you click on the file cabinet for the section the whole settings of the section and then click on style and that's where the background goes and in background, we'll get the option for background type. We get classic, gradient, and background video. So of course we want that one. Now all you have to do is just paste in that video link right here, and it should show up in the background. The second thing we'll do with that video background is get a still shot to put as our background fallback, which will work on mobile devices or anything that doesn't load quickly, even though mobile devices do load quickly, just anywhere where the video won't play they'll see a still image from the video. And we're gonna do that in a moment, but for now let's give ourselves some space so we can see the whole video and we can work around with this stuff we put in this section. So come back to layout, make sure you're still on the setting sections up here, click that if you lose it. Go to layout and then just click stretch section. Very good, let's leave this box for now, leave the columns gap default, but where it says height, we can make it fit to screen and that's sort of the magical setting. Now we have a full screen video, almost. Great, and if you see some extra white space above the image, you can try, like I just did, going from columns gap to no gap, uh, but I don't think that did anything.